Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have learned about nested routing in Next.js with TypeScript. In this video, we are going to learn about dynamic routes. What is dynamic routes? What is the use of brackets for creating dynamic routes that we are going to learn in this video? So first thing we have to understand what is the difference between static or dynamic routes. This application is running right now. In this application, suppose I say product, remember that. Then we have product homepage, remember? Under this product, we have learned that we have a nested routes also. So we have a product 2 and product 1 as a nested routes. Means this product 2 inside a product is called static routes. Why static routes? Because I have created here product 2. Under this product 2, I have a page.tsx file that is displaying here. Remember that. Similarly, I have a product 1 also. So in place of product 2, if I say product 1, and you will see that there is the same type of output because I have static routes of product 1 also. But you see the scenario here. So here we have product 1 and product 2 as a static routes. If products are limited, 2 or 3 products information you want to show, it is better to use a static routing. But suppose we have thousands of products in database, those products individually we want to show on an individual page, on a single page, one product we want to show. As you go for Amazon on Flipkart, if you click on a product, you have a complete information of a product. Remember that that product's not a single one in a database. There are thousand or we can say lakhs of products are available in database. Those information we have to display by the route. So like we have product one, maybe here we have a product thousand or two thousand or one lakh, maybe more than this. But here it will show 404 error. Why? Because we do not have this route. Remember that. So this type of routing means we have the route in database and at runtime, whenever we want to fetch a specific product from a database, we click on that product and automatically URL generate. That thing is called dynamic routing. Remember that here physically we are creating the folder and the file. But in case of dynamic routing, we are creating a single folder physically here and under that folder, all the routes will replace dynamically on runtime. How to create that dynamic folder here that will generate uh, dynamic routing at runtime that we are going to learn in this video. So under a product right now, we have product 1 and product 2. Remember that. So I am creating a one more route, but this time I am creating this route with the help of these brackets. And here I say product name, P name, like this. Remember that. So we have a P name under the square bracket. So in this PPT, you see what is the use of bracket for, dy for dynamic routing. So we use this square bracket for creating a dynamic folder. Here you see that we are creating this type of things. So this is called dynamic routes. So I am creating here dynamic type of folder. So all the routes at runtime will replace under P name. So P name will become product 10, product 100, product 2000, whatever the number of product will come, that product will replace by the P name. Remember that. Under that, I am creating a same page.tsx and here I say RAFCE and here I can display same type of information from here. So I copy this and here I paste it and here I say it is dynamic routes name like this and here I will display the name later on. So first of all, this is the thing that we have to use. Remember that if now I search, you see dynamic route name automatically is coming. Here I can say uh, 3 because 3 is not available. So it will display same information. If I say here 1, so it will display the static routing. If I say here 20,000, you see it will display same dynamic routing. Means each and every route, if any particular routes I give here under the product, that will be replaced by this p name so this p name is converting into this url so now under the product any kind of url i can give not only with the name of product i can give xyz also anything i can give and it will display the same kind of 
information this information it will display dynamic routing remember now the question rise how i will recognize that which url you have created dynamically that we will fetch by this p name so here i am saying here that we have a param and this params will display the information so i say the information is params dot p name remember that that we have to put here and if i run it you will see that if i refresh it you will have the name of this url xyz remember and if i say product product one then it is static routing so we already know that product one is a static routing we can identify this but if i say product 100 then it will display the url name as a product 100 so by this url dynamic route you can identify the which product information you want to display just pass this as a id to the fetch function and you will display information according to the url you are fetching remember that now this is not so simple here because we are using uh, typescript so in typescript we have to specify data type for this so for that i say here type params type equal to and here i say param and under the param we have p name of a string type remember this that we have to create here param type now here i say here params type like this because it's a type of script so we have to specify that this is a parameter and under this we have an object p name same we have to pass here now we can do uh, destructuring also here for that we can say that uh, const p name equal to params like this and here we can pass it like this it's same thing nothing special in it it is a destructuring so we are getting information here in this variable and we refresh it you see same output we have nothing special here nothing extra here if i say 200 and you will see that we have a product 200 so this is called dynamic routing in nextjs so we are creating a folder under the brackets this called dynamic route name we have a parameter here at runtime the name of the route will come here that we are reading here under the params and we are specifying the data type for params like this and we have the information like this and with the help of this param name we can identify which product you have selected and just pass that product in fetch function or exome function for fetching information from database and the same information whatever the product you have selected on the basis of id on the basis of name or something else should be unique and you can display the information on this web page remember that that is called dynamic routing means generating a route at runtime and on the basis of your selection display information on a page accordingly because we cannot create a static routing for thousands of web pages we need dynamic routing this is the dynamic routing in next years in next video we will see about nested dynamic routing if you like this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video